told us to stop, and then the fella had an AR-15. Kind of got my attention. A small Illinois town is still in shock after one person was killed and another hurt in a shooting leading to a manhunt and a shelter-in-place order. Good evening, I'm Marley Capper. We now know the names of the people shot in Kenny yesterday and happened on Kenny Road just south of Kenny. The DeWitt County Sheriff says they're still looking for the suspect. WCI3's Will Simmons is live in our newsroom. Will, do we have any updates today? Marley, Sheriff Mike Walker says 78-year-old John Wes Anderson died on scene, and 21-year-old Keegan Munoz was also shot multiple times and is in stable condition at a local hospital. Walker says police are still looking for Jose de Jesus Gomez Munoz, who they say is responsible for this shooting. Authorities say Anderson was Munoz's father-in-law and Keegan is his son. Walker believes Munoz may have left the area in a white Honda Accord, and they're asking people to report any sightings Randy Molotoris, who lives right down the street from where the shooting happened, says he knows the family and Munoz. Molotoris says he never would have suspected anything like this could happen in Kenny and that everyone knows each other in this rural part of Illinois. They lived next to our church for quite a long time and the, the fellow that they're after even helped me paint a shed uh, on church property. He, he was a... Uh, at the time, he was a painter and, and a very good painter. Sheriff Walker says he had known Anderson for many years, making the investigation that much more difficult. He says they lifted the shelter in place after Munoz had left the area. Now they're reminding people living and in and around Kenny to remain vigilant. For those people, it seems like there are more questions than answers right now. Back to you. All right, Will, thank you so much.